This week in science, we're at Science World in Vancouver talking about spider robots. That is not to be confused with robot spiders, like this one. No, here we're talking about building a robotic grabbing tool out of a dead wolf spider. And to understand how that's even possible, we need a quick refresher about how limbs work. We humans move our arms and legs with pairs of opposing muscles, flexors and extensors. Flexors, like your biceps, curl them up, while extensors, like your triceps, straighten them back out. Spiders, on the other hand, only have flexor muscles, and instead of extensors, they use hydraulic pressure from their bodies to pump blood into their extremities, stretching them out. That's why all their legs curl up when they die. There's just no way to straighten them without that pressure. This was of special interest to Daniel Preston at Rice University in Houston. His lab specializes in soft robotic systems that often use non-conventional materials. What if, he thought, these movement mechanics could be leveraged to create something useful? Thus was born the field of necrobotics, turning dead things into robots. All Preston and his team really had to do was insert a needle into the right part of the spider and seal the entry point with superglue. By sending a puff of air through the needle, they can mimic the hydraulic pressure spiders naturally use to extend their legs, then simply back off the pressure to curl them up again. It's like a nightmarish version of a claw game. This tool can lift more than 130% of its weight, and it's pretty good at grabbing oddly shaped and delicate items without breaking them, which might make it useful for building microelectronics. And it's biodegradable, so that's something. It does wear out quickly, though. Without a polymer coating of some kind, the spider robot breaks down after about a thousand open and close cycles. This is Ruby. Ruby's a Mexican red-kneed tarantula. I did write an outro for this, but I seem to have forgot it. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.